eyebrows, I'm going to go right in with that Ardell Dark Brown pomade. And I'm going to just be going through the natural eyebrows. Not going to make them any type of different. I'm going to just make them natural looking. And I love this pomade. It's nice and it's sticky. And it's very pretty. Dark brown. I'm just going to go in with those eyebrows. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro and Almond. And I'm just going to go around that area to sharpen it up to make it a little neater. I'm going to take my Morphe brush. I'm not sure what type of brush that is. What the name of that brush is. But I'll put it in my description bar below if you girls want to know. I'm gonna take it and just buff out and shape. I'm gonna go back in with it and then I'm gonna do the other brow just the same. You know, just to get the area and make sure it's nice. And this is the always my problem brow. I always mess up this brow, but it's okay. We cousins, we and sisters. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with that and just keep going with that dark brow pomade just to get the shape of my natural brow. Take it along the tip. I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro and Almond again. Just to you know, make it neat and buff it out. Make sure it's nice. Just to get it on an angle. Just going to buff it out with one of my Wet n Wild brushes. That's my favorite. I'm going to always use it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. My same brush that I always use my brow. Just going to go in. Make it neat. Buff it out a little bit. I'm going to go with my Black Radiance Eye Primer. I'm just throw that on both of my lids and just buff it and blend it in. So just buff it in. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my pearl white and NYX. Mind you, this is the wrong one I'm using. I'm supposed to be using white, the white blanco one, and this is one is for the shimmery eyeshadows. My bad, but I'm gonna just use this. I'm gonna let the video go. I'm just use the white and I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna go with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in white, you know, just to make everything smooth, no creases. So I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna go with this pink color and the color of the Urban Decay palette in Savage. And I'm just gonna go buff that in, blend that out really nicely. Really nice little motion there. Keep going in with that motion. I'm taking my Ruby Kisses brushes and going through that color. Make sure everything is blended out nicely. Blend, 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 blend. And I'm gonna go with that dark purple in the color of Urban. And I'm gonna just go under that pink and blend it out. Blend out the edges and blend that crease color going in. Disclaimer on this palette: it's pigmented, but it's not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is. It's pigmented, then it's not. It's just, I don't know, it's um, out of a one, out of a 10, I'm gonna give it like a seven for right now. I'm gonna go in with that hot green color in the color Thrash, and I'm gonna go in by the crease color, you know, just to add that color. Go in with that green color. Then I'm gonna go with that blue fringe color. I'm just gonna go in like, my tear duct area, you know, just blend those two colors out, make sure everything is okay, make sure everything is nice, just hurry up and blend that out, going in again, still adding that color, still packing it on, because I feel like it's not pigmented enough, this is crazy, still going in, still blending those colors together, still adding color as you can see, still adding that blue color. Blending it out through the middle using one of my real technique brushes. Not sure, I'll let you know in the description. So adding that cream color more. Going back in with that NYX white pearl. I had to look at it because I know I was using the wrong one. Seedier. I'm just going in using that the Laura Mercier. Just going in with that translucent powder. Make sure everything does not crease. I'm going back in with that pink color. In the Urban Decay palette, in the color Savage. I'm just going in with that color, blending it out. Blend, 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 blend for your life. Blend. And I'm gonna go with that purple. Just to, you know, go in with the pink and make sure it's blended in. Make sure it's intertwined with each other. That's what you wanna make sure you're gonna do. Make sure those colors are seeping into each other. 
and I'm gonna go with my I don't know what happened to my camera just now but something happened I'm gonna go with my orange color corrector I have hyperpigmentation I have some dark areas so I have to make sure that's balanced out with some dark marks so I'm gonna go in with my whole face and buff that color out before I do my foundation just buff that color out 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 and I'm gonna go with my Anastasia Beverly Heels and Express so I'm gonna go all over my face with that then I'm gonna buff it out with my favorite real technique brush I will always use this brush I love this brush I'm gonna go in and buff everywhere it's like on an angle brush I love this brush it is very big so I'm gonna go in and buff that out and I'm gonna take my 355 because I feel like this foundation is a little bit dark I feel like this is gonna bring it out a little bit more well, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm just going to go in with that foundation and blend it in everywhere. The espresso is. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Blend that color in. Then I'm going to hold my arm and I'm going to go under my eye with this. I'm going to take my pan by Morph and just go, you know, just make sure it's the area is smoothed out. And I'm going to take it, I'm gonna take it under the eye. I'm going to take it by my nose a little bit more because I am going to be contouring my nose. So I use it as a base, as a place of setting it so I know where to contour at on my nose. So I just bring that concealer in just a little bit on my nose and make sure everything is placed in the right way. So I'm going to go in with that, go into my nose a little bit, do my little nostrils, put it on my nostrils a little bit, you know, use my setting spray. I'm using the body one for some reason and I should have used the little one but I should use the big ass one under my eye. I'm going to go in and just buff that out. Yes, I look crazy, but I ain't going to look crazy in the aftermath. I'm just buffing that out. Buff, 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 buff. Buff, buff. Buff it. <laughs> I'm just buffing it. Buffing it, buffing it, buffing it. Make sure everything is blended in. Blend that in. Always wet your beauty blender, please. So I'm wetting my beauty blender here. Just going in with that common color. Blending everything out, make sure everything is seamless and blend it out. Okay. What am I getting? Oh, I'm getting my next contour. Because I have to find this is good because this is actually my color. This is the first contour palette with the color that's darker than my skin tone. So I'm gonna go on my nose and I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Contour it up. It doesn't matter if it's thick, I just use my two fingers and I just skinny it out a little bit. Just keep going, keep going and blending it out using my two fingers just to slide it down the middle. Keep on blending. And I'm going in the middle with that almond just to give it some type of shape, make it look littler than what it is. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to blend everything together right now with my little brush. Blend, blend, blend. Blend everything out. Blend those two. Just make sure everything's blended out. Make sure everything is blended out. Now, I'm going to go in, what am I going to I'm going to go in with my contour on my cheeks. I put a line up, then I move my brush going up just to give that nice effect. Because I don't want it to look like a straight line, you know what I mean? So I just, you know, make it bigger, I buff it out, I blend it out. Make sure everything is in the right space. And I do the same thing on the other side. I blend it going up. Make that straight line and then you make it blend going up. I'm telling you, you have to do this. And I go in with my face brush just to blend everything in. I'm going to go with my Sasha Buttercup, you know, just to make it look like a sharper look. A lot of girls do this and I see why they do it for that sharper look. Then I'm going to go under my eyes with the Sasha Buttercup just to set my area. I just set my area for like maybe like 30 seconds the most. I don't bank for like an hour I don't bake for five minutes I just bake and I just go back in with my contour just so I can see it just so it's visible to me then I just wait like 30 seconds you know listen to my music you know ba -da -ba -ba. just go in and I'm gonna just go in and just wipe that off wipe the area off wipe everything off wipe 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 everything off wipe everything off it's basically like wipe everything off. I'm going to go with my contour, which is close to my skin tone, so I use it as a face powder. So I'm going to be using that powder everywhere on my face. Use it everywhere on my face. 
going in with that nose again, making sure that looks not right and doesn't look crazy. I'm going in with that. I'm using my favorite, my new favorite eyelashes is the Kiss Blowout Bouffant Lashes. This is in the, I believe it's called Pompadour. I'm going to use my lash glue, my IND lash glue, my favorite one in black. I'm going to go in and put that on there. I do like two layers for this. Because I don't want my eyelashes to fall up and it's so hot outside. No, I don't need them. <laughs> I need my shit to fall up. So I'm going to go in and put those on. Keep going in with those. Put them in on. Press them. I always keep pressing, 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 pressing. Always pressing them on so they can be stuck and maybe not come off. Because we don't have time for that. We don't. Put the other one, make sure I press it, press it, press it in. We don't want no issues with that. We don't want flying in the wind. We don't want them falling off. I'm so happy I got it on. <laughs> Let's do my little dance. Now I'm gonna go with that blue color in my Urban Day palette in Chaos. It just kind of wanted to give it a little smoky look. It's not even smoky because it's not black, but it's, it, is, it is dark blue. So it's just giving me a nice effect with that. So I wanted to put that under my watermark under my eye just give me that nice touch to it and I really like the way this is coming out let's go into some fallout just to take that away then I'm gonna get my favorite my favorite mascara the elf it's so waxy I don't even know what it's called but I'll tell you in the description this is my favorite just separate them nicely separate I mean <laughs> separate them <laughs> separate those nicely then I'm gonna go in with my favorites, my Poshmatics Cosmetics, my highlight. I'm just going the brow bone. Go into my brow bone area. Make sure everything is nice and neat. It just gives me that effect. I don't know what it gives. The minute I give to y'all, I'm just going my tear duct with it. It's nice and gold. It's so nice and dewy at the end. So I love this highlighter. This is the highlighter I will always get to spray my face. I always spray my face before I do my highlight on my face for some reason because it gives it a different effect. It sticks on to you like butter. Look at the look at highlight. Look at my highlight. <laughs> so I have to bridge of my nose and just push it up all the way, not to go all the way up, but just like the tip in like the middle of my nose. That's all. It's oh my God, please. Look at this. Look at this highlighter. I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. So dewy. I'm just gonna go everywhere. My cupid's bow under my chin. A little bit on my forehead. Even though I have no forehead, just to give it effect that I have one. Okay. Just gonna blend that in. Just blend my highlight in so it doesn't look too harsh. Make sure I look kind of dewy. I'm gonna go with my brown pencil. I'm just gonna go line my lip like really dark for some reason. Cause I wanna make sure that my lipstick is right in the middle of it. I don't even know what lipstick I'm gonna use today. I think. No, I'm using my heroin and Mac. I'm gonna go in with that heroin and Mac. See if I like it. Mm, I don't think. I think I need something else. I think I'm gonna use one of my lingerie's and NYX. I believe it's a pink color. I'm not sure. I'll put it in the description low just gonna go in with a little bit just to make it a little bit more pinker and I'm gonna go back in with that back heroin just make sure it's in there right and I'm done thank you so much for watching